After Francis Nagano announced he would leave the UFC if it doesn't get a wage raise, Dana White responded saying, if you don't want to stay with us, no problem. Sounds like there's drama going down between the UFC champ and Dana White. You're going to want to hear about this. Let's dive into it. Things aren't getting any better. According to White's most recent statements, things between them haven't gotten any better. These things, according to White, happen. Sometimes you don't agree with people, he said, before shifting his aim towards Nagano's management management team, stating that when you're a fighter, you have to be cautious who represents you, that he doesn't think Nagano's had the finest representation. White and Nagano's manager have had public squabbles in the past. Interestingly, Nagano is represented by Creative Artist Agency, CAA, a large Hollywood and sports agency that also happens to be long-term competitors with White's bosses at Endeavor. Next, Dana White not open to discussing new contract. Manager Nagano Markle Martin, who's agency CAA competes directly with UFC parent firm Endeavor notified ESPN that talks on a new deal had not been restarted. Martin recently stated that despite wishing to sign a new contract, he hasn't spoken of the promotion in six months. Dana White, president of the Ultimate Fighting Championship, downplayed the disagreement saying it was up to Nagano to decide whether or not to continue and that if he wants to be with them, they will be pleased to see him and if he doesn't want to be with them, then it's no problem problem for the UFC regardless. Nagano was not pleased with these comments in the least. He claimed that the opportunity to box must be included in every new contract he signs. He and heavyweight boxing champion Tyson Fury have discussed a possible battle, and Fury's management top rank has accepted the idea. White's comments, however, seem to contradict the promotion's actions. It doesn't appear that things will be no problem with them if Nagano goes. His initial contract was supposed to expire in May but despite the fact that he has not signed a new contract, UFC has been prolonging it through the use of contentious stipulations in his contract. Nagano won the UFC Heavyweight Championship in March 2021. Three months later, though, the UFC decided to book an interim heavyweight title, which Cyril Gagne currently holds. A championship rematch between Nagano and Gagne is presently scheduled for UFC 270 on January 22nd. It'll be fascinating to watch not just who wins that exciting matchup, but also how Nagano's contract issue plays out following that fight. Let's dive into talks with ESPN. On Thursday, Nagano told ESPN that he feels he would have fulfilled his current UFC contract when he fights interim champion Cyril Gagne. He is aware, however, that the champion's blunder may cause his next move to be delayed. Whatever the case may be, the only one certainty he has is that everything must change. When asked if he would compete under the terms of an extended UFC contract, contract, Nagano stated that he will no longer fight for $500,000 or $600,000. He indicated that this was it, that it was all over, that he only did it because he agreed to this fight for personal reasons, but he wants to ensure that regardless of how wrong it is, that he was treated unfairly and that he can prove that he finished eight bouts. Now the contract with UFC. Prior to his first heavyweight title fight against Stipe Miocic at UFC 220, Nagano stated in December 2017 that he he has signed a five-year contract with the UFC. He did, however, claim that the champion clause in his contract states that if he holds the title when it expires, he'd be associated with a company within a year or three fights. According to Nagano, all of this leads him to conclude that it is an option. Given the overall length of the contract and the champion clause, Nagano was dubious of his condition, alleging at one point that he would not have a contract until January 2023 since the UFC global contract not endure five years from start to finish. According to Nagano, the UFC contract is quite complex, which is why he signed a 40-month contract only to discover four years later that he still needs to deal with it, even if he was active. Standard UFC contracts frequently include a fee provision that also allows the organization to extend contracts by six months if a fighter is unable to accept a proposed contest due to injury or other circumstances. Nagano withdrew out of a title fight against Derek Lewis at UFC 265 earlier this year due to scheduling conflicts. The UFC subsequently booked a fight between Gagne, his old training partner. 
Lewis as an interim championship event. Nagano wants to keep boxing. Nagano's desire for the chance to engage in a boxing match against either Deontay Wilder or fellow ESPN and BT Sport fighter Fury has been a major sticking point in the contract discussions. In recent weeks, the Gypsy King has been active on social media offering to wear four ounce gloves if Nagano agrees to a bout. When asked if he wanted to box, Nagano answered emphatically that he did and that they have been talking about it for years and look to be in accord. He stated that if he were to be honest, he believes that whatever is happening, whatever the event is, if the UFC is involved, it'll undoubtedly make it bigger. He has no doubt about that. So he'd like for the UFC to be on board and is perplexed as to why they can't come to an agreement, claiming that the only reason they're here is that this was not handled in good faith at some point. However, he indicated that he was unsure what to make of the stock's current level of interest. He noted that although sometimes he can respond yes, other times he simply doesn't know. Now in other news, Caitlin Chukagian. Caitlin Chukagian, a former UFC flyweight championship contender, expressed hope that she will still have a future in the UFC despite disclosing that the organization rejected to give her a new contract prior to her UFC Vegas 46 victory on Saturday night. Chukagian's last fight on her current contract was a strong performance in which she won a unanimous decision against Jennifer Maya for her third straight victory. Following that, she expressed her amazement that the UFC chose not to discuss a new contract with her ahead of time, which means she's now a free agent. Let's talk about Henry Cejudo. As their social media battle continues, Henry Cejudo has backed up a long-held claim by accusing Conor McGregor of having a terrible cardio. Cejudo slammed UFC President Dana White on social media for dismissing a prospective featherweight championship fight against Alexander Volkanovsky so quickly. In his jab at White, he appeared to also wonder why he hasn't given the same treatment as McGregor, prompting the Irish star to respond by calling Cejudo a fart. McGregor has been criticized for having weak cardio in the past, notably following his battles with Nate Diaz and Khabib Nurmagomedov. The Irish star punched himself out in the first round of his fight with Diaz, which was a major cause for him to tap out in the second round. McGregor quickly revamped his training regimen in preparation for the rematch, which he won on points after a mid-fight collapse. He subsequently squared up against fierce rival Norma Gamedov, but fell short once more, being submitted in the fourth round, raising further concerns about his fitness. Next, we have Calvin Qatar and Giga Chikadze. Calvin Qatar and Giga Chikadze had nothing but respect for each other following a five-round fight in the main event of UFC Vegas 46. Following a battle in which the featherweights exchanged more than 280 total strikes, Qatar and Chikadze were taken to a local Las Vegas hospital for precautionary reasons, rather than being obliged to stay for the post-fight press conference. Chikadze snapped a photo with Qatar there as they shared a moment for their fight of the night encounter, which won each guy an extra $50,000 in bonus money. According to UFC statistics, Qatar landed 144 critical blows in 157 strikes in 25 minutes, resulting to a unanimous victory on the scorecards. Meanwhile, Chikadze may have lost, but he put up a strong fight, hitting 128 significant blows. When asked how he felt about the photo, Qatar said, respect. It's unclear whether either fighter suffered any major injuries at this point, but both men walked out of the cage on their own on Saturday night, finishing up the first UFC main event of 2022 in a fight that'll undoubtedly be remembered when the year-end awards are handed out. Lastly, Joe Rogan. UFC President Dana White has defended UFC commentator Joe Rogan after 270 medical experts petitioned Spotify to take action over rampant disinformation on the comedian's Joe Rogan Experience podcast. When asked about the open letter after the UFC Vegas 46 event on Saturday, White showed astonishment before defending Rogan's support for unproven COVID-19 therapies like the anti-parasitic medicine ivermectin. Now that's a wrap for this video. Do you think Dana White is bluffing? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.